Alright. I should probably eat my canned food at some point. I keep just looking over it. We gotta land. Maybe. There we go. And down we go. I can't remember which way to go to get there fastest on this planet. Is it just this way? Oh, here's the guy that... Huh. Might actually be this way. I don't remember which way it is. What the hell is this chest? That's a new chest. That chest was definitely not there before. All right, wait. We'll do this quest because I found it. I do this all the time. Just get distracted by side quests. It's kind of the casual way to play this game. But like I said, now that you've seen the Dreadwing fight, even if I can't do it on screen, I might do it off. Because usually what I do is I just like hit my head against the wall and just keep trying over and over again, making more heliums. Until I eventually win, and you don't need to see 50 attempts, because... You know, bosses in this game tend to be pretty shit. Okay, fuck off. So how tough is this fight? This could be actually a really tough fight. I guess the door was on the other side, fuck me. Okay. So this is actually a bandit leer, which means... Probably expect a really difficult fight. Because that's usually what these guys bring. Alright. Ate some food. Some of this canned food. Damn it, wrong button. Damn it, you had to hit the ledge, didn't you? Fuck me. Yeah, fucking bandit leers are pains in the ass. And that's like the worst place ever to fucking fight them. Like, fuck fighting them inside of NPCs' houses. There's like no fucking way to cheese them out. Well, I suppose there is. You just have to build the terrain yourself. It's just like, I don't want to fucking put in the effort to do that. Because the last one I had to fight was over here, and I could just sit on, on the other side of this pillar, and he could do nothing. As I took pot shots at him for like five minutes. Now, hopefully his health doesn't regenerate. I don't remember if it does or not. I'm also not sure what happened to that fucking flooring guy that was supposed to be helping me. Because he sure as fuck wasn't helping me. Honestly, already died to, like, standard enemies, like an idiot. Which I wouldn't put past the NPCs in this game to be fucking stupid. Like, pretty much most NPCs in this game have pretty terrible AI and they like to get themselves killed on stupid shit. Probably died in the spike pit, to be honest. Apparently he's replaced his pet. Alright. You know what? He can't actually jump up here. That works. That's actually a legitimate cheese strat. That will actually work. Okay, switch back. Jim at cheese strats. You can't jump up here. Okay, now we get the cheese going. So as you can see, this is clearly the intended method of fighting these guys. Oh, 
we weapon. Okay, he actually did give up. Interesting. I bet you that secret note says he hid the chest somewhere. At the old stone columns. <laughs> now, if those are the same old stone columns I just got. And he wants to join my ship crew. Sure. We just got ourselves another crew member. I think my capacity right now is only two, so that's not going to help too much. If I go back to my ship, I can actually bring him along to help fight stuff. Which I may be doing later on. Alright. So I got distracted there for a second. Alright. So let's see if the old stone columns of rest was referring to that pillar chest I alluded that I'd never noticed before, or if there's more stone columns actually to the west of where he was. Doesn't really matter because I have to find the heal somewhere. They may have been faster to go the air away. Not that really matters though. Yeah, actually I think it would have been faster to go the air away, so maybe I will. Cause this might be the planet where it's just like flat land with nothing. For like half of it. And if that is indeed the case, well <laughs> then I'm gonna be wasting five minutes of time. Because I've already explored this entire surface of the planet, it's just that I don't remember which direction was fastest. But they will both take me there eventually. And that's really the important thing. As I run out of sprint again, probably. Go. So far, so good. We're making good time, I think. Maybe not the best time, but it's good nonetheless. Here we are. So yeah, the stone columns must have referred to the error ones. Alright. So we've got Hyodo Village. I need to start scanning all the things. Okay, pictures, shelves. Nothing at the lanterns. Oh, this lantern something. Well, well here. Maybe I can get all this stuff. Maybe I can. Oh, deliver a note to the guy standing next to you. That that seems that seems like an easy fetch quest. God damn it! Back here. Okay, which direction do I need to go? I, I really wish the main quest went, like, override. Like, fucking everything. There we go. There we fucking go. Just use this up. Oh, kiwi seeds! Those are actually kind of rare, aren't they? Actually, I think I need to let my dog out, so give me a second. Okay, I think I'm back. Um, it's fucking hard to adjust this headset. There's, like, the uh, mount on it isn't quite long enough or something for me. So I've got to really make sure that I have it set up properly. Two gold ore. I probably have that. Yes, I do. Uh, gold bar. I probably have that. Oh, take the gold bar to the person next to you. Oh, that that that's a good quest. That's a good quest right there. Alright, so we should probably just keep scanning all the things. Is there really nothing to scan out in the garden? No, I guess not. Wow. That needs to be scanned. Okay, so... Let's track this again. Uh, we're about halfway done. And hopefully I can get all of this done in this village. 
I've already looted this village and read all the notes, so that's why I'm not looting anything. Oh my god. Plus plum and Oki lemon. Oh, I'll take that just to steal your seeds. Okay, small hut west. God damn it. Fine, I'll, I'll go to the small hut to the west, because I'm probably going to need to for something anyway. I may as well. Small hut west, oh! <laughs> Would you look at that? We're going to the small head to the west. God. That's why I don't like taking a break in villages, because then you get like 50 quest markers. Flooded rune to the west! Oh! <laughs> we're, we're going west. How does that flag something? That convenience store sign, I should say. Nope. Okay, look for the green highlight. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Floyd Rune West. Oh boy. All kinds of things to the west. Nothing to scan in there. Deliver a note to the guy I just passed. This fetch quest is certainly going to be easy, isn't it? Oh, go get the basket back from... Well, why didn't you just tell me to do that at the same time? Like, what the fuck? These these quests, I'm just telling you. They're, they're free reward bags. That's really all they are, is just free reward bags. I, I will take free reward bags, because that means potential weapons. And free ore, usually. So I don't even need to go mining. Like, these quests are kind of amazing. Okay, seriously, open open the fucking door. Thank you. Is this the end of the village? Because if so, I'm probably going to need to find an actual proper underwater one. Oh, this is bad, actually. Is this what they meant by the... Uh I think it is. Okay. I'm already not a fan of this quest. Well, for starters, it's liking really bad because of Sandstorm. And then I got covered in oil, so I travel extra slow. Let me guess. I do this, and... Do you have a rocket launcher? Yep. Dodged it somehow. So ideally I can get the guards over here to... You know, take the hits for me. And the guard is doing a good job of taking the hits for me. And he's done. Perfect. Flawless execution of that. So as you can see, that's the uh, way to cheese these things out. Okay, here's the merchant I need to talk to. Um, Sandstorm is really not making this easy.
Take him back. Hey, I can buy some stuff from you. Nothing really good, but I could buy some stuff. Okay, close the door. Yeah, I got the delivery for him. All right. Now I've got to go back. God, this... These fetch quests, man. Had to use, like, town guards for shields and everything. Then there's more quests. It never ends. It really never does. Oh, boy. There's the error quest. Really, Birdman? Just gonna enter people's buildings and, like, murder them? Apparently, yes, it's exactly what you're gonna do. Oh, Flooded Room West! Okay, accept, please. And the journey west continues. Never ends. All right. Oh my god. Okay. So if I can get some electricity to rock on one of these guys, they should die extra fast. Problem is getting the electricity at the proc. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just regen a little bit. There's some guys in the water. All right. So he needs to be taken home. Oh my god. So where's the flooded ruin actually? How much further west? Shit. <laughs> Oh, damn it. I need to stop sneezing while I'm recording. I really do. Fuck. Alright. So, take care of him. Is this the Floyd Ruin? Okay, any more quests I need to do? Okay, yeah, that's the... Okay, I just found Juro. He's a small hut. I just took care of uh, those. I just need the Flood and Rune guy, I think. Hang on. Are any of you the Flood and Rune guy? No. At least I don't think so. Maybe one of you is, I just didn't know this. Yeah, I need to basically watch these guys and make sure they don't get themselves killed. You know what, I think we've actually looted the plant because I think that's the other house. Which means I must have found the flooded rune. All right then. I guess the image was just a little bit inaccurate. Oh well. 
Let's just go turn in these quests, see what we get. I'm not going to be able to take on more crew members anyway, so... So there's where the sandstorm did its damage. Which means we're basically at the town already. Alright, so just turn all these in. Then I'll go to the air healer village, and if I can't find everything I need there, then... We're going to have to go exploring, which is completely fine, because I kind of want to find an underwater one anyway for a chance at actual real weapons. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's another guy. Mm -hmm. Turn that in. And there should be a third right here. Mm -hmm. So we should have a shit ton of bags. Torches, or more torches, a gun, and an axe. And the gun and axe aren't any good because this is a low tier village, so yeah. Hey, I've got a license. Two crew members, so you can qualify for a new license. So you can get the ship upgraded. Alright. We'll do that later. Because upgrading the ship means I've got to remall it a little bit. And I believe to find Heodal, we're going to need to find a Temperate Star. Which means there's one over there. Oh yeah, I can scroll through stuff. Um, there's one there. There's another one there. So basically the question is, do I want to head... Over here, over here, or over here. So do we go to Astrax, Mintaka, Terminatus, or Lilith? I think we'll go, I think we'll go ahead south, just to get closer to some of these. Oh, there's Kochab. Huh. I think we'll head to Astrax. What the hell is this? Don't even know what those are. So we've got a few options here. Basin free. That's just the forest. That's probably not what I want. Dry grassland. I might want to check that. Yeah, snow covered. This is an interesting galaxy for a temperate one. Not a lot of ocean so far. It's another grassland and a gas giant you can't land on. Okay, Astrax doesn't actually have an ocean. Interesting. Lilith has a snow one. Has another dry grassland. Another dry grassland and another snow. Interesting. Okay, do we have an ocean though? Mintaka. Two dry grasslands and a moon. I think that's a moon. Yep. We've got an ocean. So we're going to Mintaka. Now it's going to eat up a lot of my fuel. I'm going to have to get more fuel soon. Oh well. At the very least, my crew is growing. And I'm gonna throw these weapons away because I don't really have their counterparts yet. I'm also gonna put the lantern stick away because I don't really need it on me. The axe is going this. Actually, a sniper rifle stronger than the one I have, but. Ah, this has a piercing shot special. I think I will wait for maybe a better one, though. Because I'm probably going to get much better weapons on this next place anyway. Now, my first playthrough, I tried to do an ocean without a breathing EPP. Oh, it's possible to do. It's just not fun. 
Like trying to go through an ocean without being able to breathe underwater. Yeah. Not my idea of fun. So I'm going to take you with me. Fucking dog keeps barking. Oh, God damn it. Oh, wow, already a heodle. And a healing thing. Okay, nothing new, though, but... Here is indeed a hut here, which is a good sign. Hey, snail bro. There we go. Deal him. So yeah, we're taking a lot of damage already. But there are some coconuts in these trees. So I will at least take one or two down. Because coconuts are kind of useful. Sure, we're getting a ton of crafting recipes. I'm gonna grab a few more coconuts. Now let's head into the ocean. Now, do I go right or left? It's the real question here. I'm also gonna try and get some fish if I can. Because everything down here has the possibility of dropping fish anyway. There's a fish. Okay, so we got some fish recipes. It's better than I can hope for. So yeah, bullets in the water don't really tend to go far. As you can probably already tell. And there's probably something under here. Of course there is. Hell, water balloons. Interesting. I don't think my companion can join me down here. Oh well. No big deal. The main thing I want to do is try and find some stuff underwater. Which I'm really gra glad I actually uh, upgraded my tool now. To be able to do this. Because digging underwater without this tool is borderline impossible. Hey, we'll take all this. And we'll take the kelp. More crafting ingredients anyway. Yeah, you can't sprint underwater, sadly, but... That's fine. We'll just have to find our ways of getting stuff. Now, ideally, I could find a living Yodel Solomon down here and not like an abandoned one or a dead one. Don't think there's anything down there, so. And if there is, I can't see it. Yeah, I can't use any of my abilities underwater, can I? So. That sucks. Maybe, maybe at the very least I'll find some underwater ingredients. There's only like two, but... Well, I guess three if you count the seaweed. Oh, there we go. Reef pods. It's like the main one I want to get. Because it's like the main one I'm missing. Okay, goodbye. Some kind of ore deposit under there, and it might be gold. And if it is gold, which it is, thank you. Oh, Hawaiian skirt. 
So yeah, that's just some of the cosmetic stuff you can find underwater. Every plant has its own kind of cosmetics. And not just every plant, but like every biome. So there is basically infinite shit you can find in this game. Like, I mean, there is a limit. But the possibilities are basically endless, and I really need a faster way of traveling underwater. Well, you know what? There's a reason I kept this sword. And the reason I kept this sword is, uh... For what I'm about to do here. It's underwater fast travel. Yeah, I might need to fight here. If I'm going to be fighting, I want a real sword. I want my best sword if I'm going to be fighting. And I want my traveling sword if I'm going to be traveling. Which I can't dash in the air, but I can definitely dash once I'm on land. Like right here. Except it got cancelled. Shit. There we go. So as you can see, that's part of the reason why I wanted this uh, sword. It's kind of pretty good. Alright. Yeah, the ability to fast travel is definitely not overrated. Especially underwater where you're traveling at like half speed. So you really need the uh, extra zip in your step. Even if it's only for a short distance. I fucked that up. Alright. Back to this one. Because I've got to go dig another treasure chest out. I suppose those barrels could hold stuff too. I should probably check those. God damn it, dogs. Stop barking. Fucking dogs. Caller. And the big medicine kit. That's interesting that they're giving me that this early. It's like end game material, basically. In that case, I should probably check these, even though there's nothing in them. On the off chance I get end game materials. Fucking dog. <sighs> I'm not going to deal with the dog right now. Oh boy. I want to get this fucking village done. Assuming there even is one. That's the big assumption. Because if there isn't one, then I'm just literally wasting time. But hopefully there is. Come on, there's got to be one. I think I'm probably good on the underwater food, so I'm not going to collect any more, but... Huh. Come on. A little bit for... Uh, no, it never hurts scanner reef pod. As my mouse apparently locks up in one direction. Actually, I'm full on food. There we go. What the hell is this? hell is this? That's a shield. I don't think I've ever found one of those. Interesting. Now the thing is I never use shields in this game. Not so much because they're bad, it's just because, well, I really don't think they're necessary. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're overpowered enough in this game without needing a shield to be even more overpowered. Though I should probably use one. Because I think the game might be balanced a little bit around shields. But I honestly prefer the uh, two-handed swords with the ridiculous abilities. 
like the invincibility dash forward that also acts as fast travel underwater. Which, you know, without this, this would be even more painful. And it's already quite painful. If I find nothing on this planet, I will I will just end this session here, I swear. Well, that should delay him a little bit. There's probably something under there, isn't there? Of course there is. More water balloons, which I'm pretty sure are basically worthless. Nothing down there either. Alright. It was worth taking the look. And more. I'm going to be super disappointed if there is actually nothing here. Because, I mean, that's actually kind of really bad luck if there is actually nothing. Which is looking more and more every day. Like, it is actually it's just nothing. Come on. Chest. Oh, a diamond. I'll take it. Shit, that's what I should have done. I should have equipped my throwing knives for that boss fight. They're kind of overpowered, actually. Like, throwing items in this game tend to be incredibly good. Like, I think darts are the lowest tier and knives are kind of low, too, but... Then you eventually get, like, axes and shurikens and other stuff. So yeah, there might actually be nothing. I'm just going to have to come to terms with that, I guess. Like when I loop this plant, we're, we're done with the session. If I find nothing after looping this plant, session's over, I'm just going to find an underwater base off screen. Like even if I could find like an old ruined one that isn't even active, that would probably be enough. I was kind of hoping to get the heal quest line actually done today. But that's been way optimistic. Like, what's my time? Yeah, I've already been going nearly an hour and a half, which is pretty much the max time I wanted to go for. So, if, if in nine minutes there's nothing. Oh, speak of the devil, as I look backwards and dash the wrong way. Okay, so that we know for next time. Probably won't go the other way. Okay. So here we go. A Hyodo village. And a globe to scan. So this is exactly what I wanted to find. But yeah, it looks like we have to go left. Probably, if we want to find this faster. Huh. And another bookshelf. How are we doing on the main quest? We're getting there. Okay, well now I've pretty much checked all this. I just need to start looting. Loot what I can. I've already read that. Can I read this? Apparently not. Okay, so yeah, it just talks about the biology of the Hyodol and how it's changed over time to become an underwater race as well. Mostly out of necessity and less out of uh, want. Okay. Else we have their evolution book, which I already know. And I can't really check these, so top floor. Where is there nothing? Oh no, there's a top floor. Oh boy, is there ever a top floor? Oh look, we have a garden. A 
A garden full of stuff I've already kind of scanned. Alright. Well, that's fine. And then there's a dance floor down there. Alright. We're getting there. There's a kitchen. Anything in here? Uh, nothing I haven't already scanned, but... That will not stop me. And that's why you check. Got some pressurized platforms. Let's see, chests. Well, I know the kitchen's probably... Cooler. Hmm. Now, part of me really wants to take a bunch of shit from this cooler, but... Oh, I have some riot food in here, so I should probably throw that away. Just throw it in the cooler. I think I a can of food here. Bone boo is probably quite useful. I'm gonna have to start crafting some stuff, I think. Hell is this? I'll take it. Well, I could do fish dumplings. So may as well. Fish in a bone. Use that up right now. Okay. Need to go home and get that current corn, I think. Should I make bread now or should I wait? Should probably wait. Coconut drink, sure I'll make. Of course I'll make coconut drink. Reef juice, sure. Grape juice, seems fair. What else do we have? Still have relish there. Seafood gratin. I'll make some. Spooky pie, can't make right now. Ocean surprise, I need more raw fish actually, wow. Used up all my fish. Royal Creep Curry? Need chili. Coconut rice I can definitely make. Fluffy ruffs, hot bone. A rice cake. I'm just full of food. Need some pearl peas soon. The dirt urchin is going to be kind of hard to find, I think, but... Yeah, we are definitely working on it. The food collection is expanding quite rapidly. That's some kind of elevator. Don't really need it, though. Apparently I have to go deliver notes for you. Can I scan anything here? Apparently it's a generator shield for something. Interesting. I don't exactly know what it does, but interesting nonetheless. Probably gonna need to go down here and talk to someone and scan all the things. And I'll take the reply to him eventually. And I need to make sure I'm not missing any greens. Don't appear to be. Anything worth scanning in here? I'm not breaking the glass to get to the DJ booth, so. What an interesting little place. I'll take some more quests. If anything, I want to take quests in this place because I'll get probably higher tier crew members. That's why game lags, because it really cannot handle this base. Like, it's so so massive and intricate that the game can barely handle the frame rates here. It's 
kind of a problem, actually, but... Oh, well. Nothing in here, surprisingly. Oh, maybe lower floor will have something I can scan. They usually tend to. Yes, they do. Scan those. Just out of reach. Actually, is this a shelf? Yes, it is. Let's see, we're almost there. We like, literally need to scan one more thing. I'm not sure what that one more thing is, but... What the hell is this? Oh, it's the quest note. All right. Maybe up here I'll find something. Well, I will definitely find storage containers to loot. I'll certainly take a lantern. Maybe I'll learn to make it. No. Oh, wishful thinking. Our movie poster. Pressurized beams. Oh boy. That's like the mother load. And more. That's a nice little storage lot you have there. More movie posters. I don't really know what those consoles do. Apparently, you don't need to mine platinum, you can just loot this shit. Get all the uh, stuff you need. Well, not all of it, but a sizable part of it. At the very least. Got my buddy here. He's not really going to help much, I don't think, but... Sure, I'll, I'll accept that, too. Doesn't really matter. Anything else to scan? Please say yes. There we go. We're finally done scanning. Holy crap. A lot of stuff to scan in here. I don't think there's really anything up here, so... Alright. It's probably safe to start heading up and... Scanning more stuff. Or not scanning, but like looting. Because, boy, do I need loot. Cash register over there. At, probably has a code accident, knowing my luck. This is quite the town, though. Ah, no, it's empty. Just like almost every cash register in this game. Keep your registers empty. Is it just another music thing? Why, yes, it is. Alright. Back up we go. And this looks like another garden. That means probably nothing. Well, unless that box has something. Is that just a music box or is that actually a loot box? Can't tell. It's a music box. Alright. Alright. Well, I tried. There's my run. And here we go. More garden. Probably nothing to loot. Nothing to loot. Well, there might be some stuff in this section here, though. Might be. And hey, look, there's like another storage room. Definitely be looting that. Take more of that. Hey, more bone booze. My food thing is full. I'll eat the coconut rice. Take another bone. There's my spooky pie. Mm -hmm. 
No, I don't. I want to talk to your guy, you asshat. Just let me click the things. Okay, the chef actually sells a bunch of ready-made food. Which I don't really want. But that's fine. Let's see. Take all this. And that looks to be about it to loot over here. Now it's just the basement. Hopefully there's some cool loot over here. Actually these garbage cans might have something. Oh, look, garbage. I love I love garbage. Garbage is great. I will take the manipulator module stuff because, you know, upgrades can always still happen. And then there's these giant containers, which apparently can just contain, like, everything. Oh, these are containers, too. Didn't actually know that. They don't look like containers. Thought they were, like, consoles. So I'm gonna have to go back to your room now and reloot those. Shit. Okay. Sorry if you heard that. I was adjusting my microphone to make sure it's still in a good position. Wish there was a better way for me to check that. But honestly, without, you know, having my uh, setup replay my audio through my computer, there's really no way to do it. Though maybe I should do that. I could be slightly delayed by like a few seconds. Well, not a few seconds, but like it'd be delayed by about uh, maybe two tenths of a second or something. But I could, in theory, do that just so I could hear myself talk, so I know when my volume is uh, all right. Like I said, I may eventually need to do that. But yeah. Anyways, that's really all I wanted to do, is just get all the Heodal information, which I have done. Hmm? I'll let him stay on the ship for now. Huh. The shield might actually be worth something, so I'm gonna put it there. Just in case. Maybe I can find a one-handed weapon. That isn't an axe. Huh. I still need to do that quest, so yeah. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the session here. These water balloons are kinda useless, aren't they? I don't really think they even do damage, I'm just gonna toss them. More stuff I looted that I don't need. Another cat hat. Money bags hat for that here. The cat hat will sell for a lot, I'm sure. A one-handed grenade launcher that does 14.8. It's not quite the level of the one I have. Well, that sucks. I've got some legs here. And they're pet collar, so I might have to equip that eventually. Let's see. I'm not going to be using these flares. See, I do have a diamond pickaxe, so that's nice. All right, so we'll return to Esther and uh, yeah, I take the quest. And then next time when I record, whenever that is, I can just take the quest real fast and start the session off with that, because that seems like probably the best plan of action. How long have I been recording for? Uh, minute 48, so it's been about 18 minutes. These might be uh, longer sessions, actually. Like, I might have to increase the video length for this series as it goes on. I've been starting with half-hour episodes. That might not be enough, considering the amount of no work that happens. 
Oh, not there. Talk to Esther, you shit. Alright, mission acquired. And that's gonna have to wait for next time. But we did at least acquire it. So what I'm gonna do off screen is I'm gonna try and gear up a lot better than what I currently am. I need better gear. There's no question. I need at least platinum armor. Or whatever it is. Trees are probably gonna spend a lot of time on that underwater plant. So yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Actually, I'm going to go check real quick at the uh, merchant, see if there is a glow augment, because I really want that. Like, visibility underground would make mining infinitely easier. And that's really the main reason why I haven't done that much mining yet in this series. And doesn't look like I'm going to be mining anytime soon. Oh, another manipulator module. I suppose I could actually upgrade my ship, now that I think about it. Huh. Well, first things first, sell the crap I'm not going to be using. Just these four things, and this. That looks good. So we sell those, we make our money. One day I'll get decent weapons. So because it's faster to beam up the ship and then beam back down, I'm going to do that. It's funny how it's actually faster to teleport and go through the loading screen than it is to actually walk there. Even when it's not that far away. But yeah, I've, like one of the things I noticed, especially last session, is exploring's nice, but when all you're doing is exploring and not making any progress. Like, that's why I want to do a lot more stuff off screen with this series. And even though I'm doing a lot off-screen, it still feels like I'm not doing enough off-screen. <laughs> but then again, a lot of it comes down to luck when it comes to finding settlements. Like, I'm going to probably want to find an avian settlement before I even record the next batch ahead of time, because it's ridiculous. But yeah, I got my ship upgraded now, so I can get more crew members if we need to. Probably won't need to, but, you know. You never know what can happen. So yeah, with that done, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just end the session here. I'm probably going to do a little bit of... Okay. Sprint, please. Sprint. Like, why is my frame rate 11 now? Like, my frame rate is literally cut in half from what it was last time. I am not sure why. I haven't really changed anything with my setup. Maybe my hard drive is just getting full. That could be it. But it's been like this all session, so it would be full by now. I don't fucking know. Let's see. Just sell some stuff right now real quick. Get my... <clears throat> get my food sorted out. Pretty much sell everything I've just made. Anything else? That seems to be it. A spooky pie. It's not worth a lot, but... Yeah, it's a little bit of money. Pocket change. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to... Buy some stuff for off-screen, but... You guys don't need to see that. I need to end this session. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Next time we're doing the next... Uh, main quest story thing. Go explore some... Uh, Heodal Grand Library. So until then, I will see you guys later.